Hi everyone, I am Teacher Mao, and today I will be your teacher for this subject. And our subject is Introduction to the Philosophy of the Human Person. And with our first module, we will be discussing about doing philosophy. So to start, let us first know our objectives for this subject. So, after studying this lesson, you should be able to distinguish a holistic perspective from a partial point of view. Realize the value of doing philosophy in obtaining a broad perspective on life. Apply philosophical reflection on a concrete situation from a holistic perspective. Okay, to start, as of now, you might already thinking of your future after graduation from high school or university. Excited to get, gain ex new experiences, encounter new people who will play important role in your life and into your dreams. These experiences may somehow give you challenges and obstacles that will test how are you going to make decision for your life? At this stage of your life, you might have so many questions about yourself and about life. Important questions that affect life and are hard to answer, but you keep on searching, such as why I am born this way. What is my purpose in this world? Or what makes me happy? Now, I want you to think of three, situ three significant situations in the past that you felt in inferior or awkward about yourself. What significant questions did you ask yourself about that particular situation and how you overcome such experience? Use this format below and do this activity. You may now start. I think you already have done your first activity and now Based from that activity earlier, what are the steps or procedures you have done in order to come up with a better solution to each situation? Make a flow chart or diagram that will illustrate the step-by-step -step procedure in making a better solution to a particular situation. Explain briefly your answer in the space provided in your answer sheet. Okay. Now let's move to our discussion. So when we try to understand a philosopher's way of thinking, we can describe that as obstructive, which means that if that if comes from the level of daily experiences to as much as a higher level that gives a full view of this situation. Take for instance, you are standing at the top of the mountain. You will not only see the roads and buildings but you see the whole at the same time. This is what we mean by seeing things from a holistic perspective. In order for us to fully understand holistic perspective, we must first understand what is doing philosophy. Okay. So doing philosophy is a way of understanding the things that we experience every day 
of our life. It is a practical knowledge that we can use every day. It also helps you think and find answers from the questions you've in mind. You can apply philosophy in every day of your life, which can do it on your own, with a partner, or in a group that you can share with. Philosophy comes from the Greek word philosophia, which means the love of wisdom. It is searching for the knowledge in order to understand oneself and all other things that surround the person. It can also be described as a way of understanding the reality and answering important questions of knowledge, morality, and human nature through reasoning and logic. When an individual starts to ask questions and wondering about life, he began to search and find meaning of it. Then he is doing philosophy. We actually use philosophy in our day-to-day -day life experiences. Philosophy in life is very important for it serves us the guiding force principles on how should a person lives in his own. Another important concept to learn is philosophical reflection. So what is philosophical reflection? Philosophical reflection it is a step-by-step -step process in which you are trying to reflect or evaluate your own experiences. First, before making any action to it. You don't automatically act or react to a certain situation because you are still thinking and processing through careful reflection of what would be the right thing to do. It is a way of thinking in which we think deeply in a holistic perspective. Not just partial point of view. We judge things or situation partially. It could be based on our senses, like what we see or hear. While uh, if we use philosophical reflection using holistic perspective, we don't judge based only through our senses, but we gain information from our past experiences, from personal beliefs and values, and other relevant facts that can be used in making the right decisions. When we try to look back in our past and we learn le lessons from it, it helps us understand more about ourselves. The more we know about ourselves, the more we understand life. For example, your teacher is scolding you for coming to school late. It is right to get angry to your teacher? Definitely no. When you do philosophical reflection, you weight the situation before making decisions, feelings, and thoughts. If you will apply philosophical reflection in your daily life, you will be able to appreciate life and how a person ought to live his life. In this example, we are using 
partial point of view. We will get angry and be disappointed to our teacher for not considering our reasons of coming late. However, if we are using holistic perspective in this kind of situation, we don't think or feel bad towards our teacher. We try to ask ourselves first why I came late. Probably because I didn't sleep early last night. That is why I didn't wake up early, so I came late to school or other reasons that will be used your basis on what to react to a certain situation. That is what we call holistic perspective. We tend to look all aspects that will help us make the right decisions in life. So let us now practice. So refer to your module on page 7 to 12. Answer task 1, the 3, provided in your module. And you're going to use the activity sheets provided for you, okay? Do not write anything in your module. I think you already done all the tasks. So let me remind you that you're going to submit that one. Ask your parents to try to send that to this to our school and we will have we will give you another sheet of activity but before that let us remember that doing philosophy can be applied to daily life experiences it also allows an individual to make better decisions and being able to act accordingly to what is really intended in a situation using philosophical reflection in a holistic perspective. Now that you're already in the senior high school, you are already being introduced to philosophy as part of a discipline or a subject area. You will encounter more philosophical issues that will test your philosophical skills. Now, I want you to try to reflect and think for a minute or so, how is philosophy contributed in understanding yourself and your life? Okay, great. So now let's try to assess whether you have understood our topic. Now use the separate sheets for your answer. So you will be evaluated using a rubric. So you are going to cite an issue or problem in your own barangay. For example, improper garbage disposal, drug addiction, or illegal fishing, or farming, or etc. that you observe in your barangay. Okay? And then write your philosophical reflection and analyze about the issue. Present your ideas using holistic perspective approach. Look and read three philosophical theories that will help you explain more about your chosen topic or issue. After that, make your decision about which theory you are going to use based on your readings. Understood? Okay. Very good. Now, I will leave you with this quote from Socrates. Know thyself. This means that in order for us to fully understand other people and the things that are happening around us, we must understand first ourselves. All right. All right. 
So that ends our module one, doing philosophy. Again, I'm Teacher Mao. Have a great day, everyone. Thank you.